Email marketing is the key to your success. And the most important part of this process that you can do is in the follow-up and learning to engage and follow up with your new leads, opt-ins, subscribers. Um, and in this video, what we're going to do, because in a prior video, we helped you set up your first follow-up email. And now um, in a prior step, you should have started driving traffic to your new squeeze pages that we have provided for you. And in this step, what we're going to do is add some more follow-up messages and the reason I'm helping you add a few more or you know we are is because we want you to understand how to use your autoresponder very thoroughly and if we help you through the process of adding a few more in that will just give you more experience and understanding of how your autoresponder works and so let's begin what we're gonna do is add the second follow-up email first so you're already logged in your eight steps what you want to do next is log into Now Lifestyle. Once you are logged into Now Lifestyle, you want to click on the Reseller Tools tab here in the top. Then in the left-hand menu, what you want to click on is Lead Capture System. And then it'll open up another menu across the top underneath here. And next to the lead capture system lit up red tab there, you want to click on autoresponder. And then once on this page, what we want to do is in the left hand menu, you'll see a thing that says message. What we want to do is click on that little drop down men arrow and then a menu opens up. And what we want to do first is click on follow up. And I have to click on follow up because I already have other campaigns added. Uh, me and my son John are partners in Now Lifestyle, and we have added some other campaigns in our Now Lifestyle autoresponder. And if you may already have some uh, other campaigns, but most likely not. Most likely the only campaign you have set up here is your Year 8 Steps campaign. But just in case, you want to click on Follow Up and make sure that you're working with the right campaign. So in this drop-down menu, we're going to click on this little arrow and we're going to load your eight steps. See, if I went to done this step first and clicked on follow-up, I would have loaded a message into a, a, a wrong campaign. And I want to make sure that we had a second follow-up to this campaign right here. So now after we've done that, we selected your eight steps, we want to click on add follow-up message. And I'm going to scroll down here. And the send after delay this time, we want to have it set at one. Um, this message will go out automatically 24 hours after your first follow-up email. So we're going to leave that delay set at one. Now we're going to go back to your eight steps and we are going to get the subject line for the first or for the second follow-up email. So we're going to copy that subject line. We're going to go back to now lifestyle and we're going to paste this in in the subject line. And then we're going to change the name field here, name, we're going to change that to a person's name by using what's called a token. So I'm going to get the token first and how I'm going to do this is you can see where it says insert field. I'm going to click on subscriber and then I'm going to click on first name. And now I have the token that I will use in place of name here in the subject line. So I'm going to copy that and we're going to put this right here. We're going to paste that in there. And I'm going to add a little space here, right there. And that token will pull up your subscriber's name when this email goes out. So this will read, did you read my email yesterday? That subscriber's first name. And how I got that again is, I'm going to delete this here in this box down below, is we clicked on in the box first, so it has a place to put it once we click on insert field. So left click on your mouse in, in the box here, and then on insert fields, you click on that drop down menu and then click on subscriber or you know so that opens up this other menu up there and then you scroll up in this other menu 
and you go to first name and you, you'll be able to tell because it it'll say subscriber ID and that's how you'll tell you're in the right one because you want to make sure you're in the subscriber one and then you just click on first name and then it gives you the token and this token automatically pulls your subscribers name it's very easy to get that and then I just copied it oops I just copied it and went up here and pasted it in in the spot of parentheses your name so let's now go get the email itself we will go back to your eight steps and now we will copy all of this underneath here we'll scroll down to the bottom and click on copy go back to now lifestyle and we are first going to paste it in the text message box so that we can edit it just like we did when we showed you how to add your first follow-up email so the first thing we want to change here is your name to at your actual name so we're going to put Richard Weberg in here you would type in your name of course the affiliate link your affiliate link is already in that email so you don't need to do anything there and then we scroll up here and see if there's anything else we need to change and what this is doing is following up with the first email um, in the first email, you kind of introduced yourself and a way to get in contact with you. And now you're saying, you know, in the subject line, you're, we're saying, did you read my email yesterday? It's to kind of remind them and then hope you did. I'm super excited to share with, I'm super excited to share with you what I'm doing to have success online. I really do not want you to miss out on this. I'm connected. I am connected with some super some really super successful people who have shown me the right way to get results. If you are any are anything like I was, you might be discouraged because it has not been going so well for you. And what you're doing is you're trying to create some relatability because many people struggle online at first. And then let's get you plugged in this fantastic system we are using so you can finally get the guidance you need. You're, so you're relating to them in the email and then telling them the solution. And that's why this follow-up email is written like this. And then again, at the end of it, we put, P.S. Very important. Please mark this email as important. And all of my emails and add me to your contacts so you do not miss any updates. So we can stay in contact with each other. You do not want to miss our emails. They will contain important information to help you build a rock-solid business. And that's just reiterating the fact because your subscribers, your new subscribers, do not want to miss your emails because they need to gain your knowledge and connect with you and get your experience. As you go along here, you're obviously going to have more experience than your subscribers. Even if you are not super successful yet, they need to connect with you and connect with the system. And that's what this email is all about. So we're going to copy this now because there was only one thing we needed to edit. We're going to come up here and we're going to paste it in the HTML. And then we're going to do a couple things in here, like PS, very important. We are going to bold this. So drag your mouse cursor over and highlight it and click on bold. Then scroll up here and we're going to drag your mouse cursor over the, your affiliate link. And then we're going to copy it, leave it highlighted and click on add tracking link. And we are going to paste it in both of these two places. and click on OK. So now this email is added and ready. Everything else looks correct. And all we need to do is finalize it by clicking on the Add button and it will add it as the second follow-up email. So now we click on Add. And you can see now your second email is ready to go and ascend after one. So they'll get the first email right away. That's why we put the delay at zero. And this, they'll get the second email 24 hours after the first. And again, once you start driving traffic to the campaign, which you should have already done, when you start to get some opt-ins, you'll start to see the number sent, the number of opens, and the number of clicks. Um, I haven't started sending traffic to this campaign yet as I've been going through all the videos, one, at a, one after another, so that I can get you guys all set up and then I will start sending traffic to this campaign as well. So now we're going to add the third email to your follow-up series. So we'll go back to your eight steps. We have this email already for you as well. And again, we're going to copy first the subject line. We're going to go back to now lifestyle. 
and now we're just going to click on add follow-up we're going to paste this in we're going to leave the delay the same and we need to get that token again so we're going to put our mouse cursor and click here left click in this box and we're going to click on insert fields and we're going to go to subscriber and we're going to go over to here and we're going to go get the subscriber first name again the token for it and we're going to copy it and we're going to go paste it in place of the parentheses and name and paste I got to add a space here. You can see how the me and the percent ran together for the token, so we want to put a space there. Oops, I actually put a letter. So you want to put a space there. And then the comma should be right after that last parenthesis for the token. And then we just delete this in the box. That's how easy that was to do. And this one is following up again on the third day saying, Reach out to me now. I want to talk to you. That's to encourage your new subscribers to get a hold of you. So now we go back to your eight steps and we copy the email buddy. Copy that, go back to now lifestyle. And first we're gonna paste it in the HTML this time. And we're gonna alter your name. I usually always do it in the text, but in this case, I'm just gonna show you it'll work either way. And we're gonna go your name, my name, Richard Weberg, so you put your name there. The link, your affiliate link, we're going to copy that once again. We're going to click on add tracking link. We're going to paste it in both spots. Left scroll all the way over, make sure there's no spaces. And there is, I accidentally copied a space. So we're going to delete that space out, just like that. And see now I, my left arrow key, I can't go over any further. And that's what you got to be aware of sometimes when you're copying pasting links into these fields is to not copy an extra space before the H. And sometimes it happens. So you take your left mouse cursor and scroll all the way over and just delete the space. And you can see there is no more space because my mouse cursor can't go over anymore. So now we just click on OK and then scroll up to the top and again we want to change some information here your email address so we're gonna put mine you put yours and again this is whatever information you want to give to people Skype and I'm gonna put write the word Skype out first so they know it's a Skype username so they can add me to their contacts. Phone number. Some people don't like to give this out, like I said in a prior video. I do, because I don't mind talking to my new leads or my partners. And Facebook. I'm going to go to Facebook real quick and log in. And I'm going to get my personal link for Facebook as soon as I go to the right page and here's my profile copy my link go back to now lifestyle paste that in there then I'm gonna hyperlink it again and so I'm gonna copy that well I'm gonna highlight it then copy it leave it highlighted click on the ad tracking link again and I'm gonna paste it in here Take my left arrow key, scroll all the way over, make sure there's no space. Do the same thing. No space. Click on OK. Now, there's another field we need to put in here. And again, it's hey name. So I'm just going to, their name is this token again. So I'm just going to recopy the token from up here in the subject line and copy it. And I'm going to paste it in here. Now I'm going to copy this whole works and paste it in the text form. And there. You can see you can eat it, add it either, either way first. It's just I usually prefer to edit in the text message body first because it's a little bit easier. Um, sometimes with HTML you can get some extra characters added in there or spaces, you know. Like here, you can take out a space in the text field really easy, and it brings it up one line. 
Sometimes in some of these editors in the HTML thing, um, when you go to take out a space, it'll bring it up more or less looks like two lines, but I don't think this editor does this. I just can't remember off the top of my head here. And this one does not. So in some of the other ones I've been used to, um, sometimes if you do that, it'll actually bring it up on the next line with it um, because the space isn't the same in the HTML. And that's why I've always gotten the habit of editing them first in the text message or in my Gmail account first. I'll compose an email if I'm writing a new email that I want to add. And then I'll paste it in here first to see how it looks. Or I'll use that email formatting tool and type it in there and then format it like I showed you in the, the video that we showed you how to add your first follow-up email. We showed you how to use this email formatting tool. So sometimes I will use this as well. And if you need this ever, it's located um, in the step where we showed you how to add your first um, follow-up email. There is a link to this formatting tool so you can use it. So now I'm just going to take a peek at this message and make sure that it's all correct and looks good. And that all looks good up here. Got both my links hyperlinked. I put my name in there and I put my information in there again. Everything looks good. So I am going to click on, scroll down and click on add. There we go. You now have three follow-up emails in your autoresponder campaign for your eight steps in Now Lifestyle. These messages will go out automatically. And uh, the only other thing to mention here in this step is now that you've gotten those three follow-up emails added at any other time, if you wish to add some more follow-up emails, what I encourage doing for your follow-up series is having somewhere between six to ten um, follow-up emails that go out automatically and in another step I'm going to show you how to broadcast an email and we mentioned that before where you can broadcast an email anytime you want to your leads. Um, you know if you ever want to go back in and edit follow-up emails it's difficult to do if you've added uh, 30, 40, or 50 follow-up emails. So what I always teach is adding, you know, six to ten good follow-up emails and then relying on broadcast uh, for the rest. So, so that gives you enough time when you're like on vacation or gone that your new subscribers, if you have traffic running, are getting your follow-up emails automatically while you're gone. And if you didn't have time to broadcast one out, they're still getting follow-up emails. Um, and that's why I only put six to ten in because it takes a lot of time sometimes to go in and you know, edit them, change them around. So I usually just put a bare minimum in there so that my prospects or my leads are getting follow-up emails regularly. And then I rely on sending out broadcasts. And sending a broadcast is super simple, just like adding these follow-up emails. And we will show you how to do that in another step. Other than that, my friends, we will see you on the next video. Have a great day.